Storm Track Weather with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Well, welcome back. It's 514 here on this Thursday morning, and we've got some messy weather across northeast Kansas, or at least parts of it. Most of the area is actually in pretty decent shape. So this is a look out of our Holton camera. We had that rain snow move through. Now we're seeing that tapering off, but you, you can see traffic moving, moving along pretty good on Highway 75 this morning. But if you look kind of closely here on these side streets, you do have a little bit of that slush that's on the roadways too. So watch out for those slick spots uh, throughout most of the area. We're all right, but if you get towards Lawrence, so south and just to the east of Topeka and heading towards the Kansas City Metro. Completely different story. We're seeing that very heavy snow, huge snowflakes falling with this too, and that's actually making it really hard for this to melt on contact like it is everywhere else. So this is a look out of our Lawrence camera. Still seeing that snow falling. Roadways are just in terrible shape as you get uh, further off to the east this morning. So really most of northeast Kansas is OK. You're fine. But if you get closer towards southeast to Shawnee County throughout Lawrence down through Baldwin City and Ottawa and then back off to the Kansas City Metro where it's still snowing, even back off towards Hiawatha, you're still in a little bit better shape too because we've seen a little more rain mixing in. But where we have the snow coming in, that is what's making it a lot more difficult. So if we could pull up our can drive here really quickly, this is a look at our road conditions this morning. We're seeing that partially covered snow here throughout northeastern Kansas in our far extreme northeastern counties. But the purple color, like I was mentioning, between Lawrence, Topeka, points to the south like Osage City and Overbrook, you've got completely covered roadways here. So we're going to take a closer look at future track. Give yourselves plenty of time to get to where you need to go this morning. And we're going to be seeing this improving as we get throughout the next couple of hours as this pulls away to the north and east. We're going to be done with it even before sunrise. That'll give it a chance to melt off on the roadways too. We are seeing the clouds coming back in later on this afternoon. A few flurries probably flying around later on this evening and overnight, but not expecting much in the way of snowfall with this. Just a quick little burst of light snow as we get these clouds moving through overnight and early Friday. Clearing out through Friday, we're actually going to end the week on a pretty sunny note. We're just going to be on the chilly side, so temperatures area wide above freezing. That's why we're looking at really rapidly improving conditions once the snow stops throughout our far eastern county. So we've got numbers in the mid 30s. That's going to help road crews out quite a bit too. Temperatures further off to the west, a little bit colder down closer to that freezing mark, but you're not seeing any precipitation throughout Marysville, Manhattan, Junction City. You're in the clear this morning. Temperatures are in the low 40s today. We're also going to be in the low 40s tomorrow, but by the time we get to the weekend, we're looking at much warmer temperatures. So our winds are going to be a little bit breezy today. That'll make it feel colder today too. Same goes for tomorrow, but by the weekend we're looking at temperatures in the upper 40s to low 50s by Saturday. Super Bowl Sunday looks great. We're going to be closer to 60 degrees again. Our next chance for rain, which it does appear to be all rain this time, will come into play at the first part of next week around Tuesday. Stay with us. We'll be right back after the break.